Herr Heinz Lynch and his connections to Bexhill. Um, an excerpt from the Bexhill Observer. Thank you to Bexhill Museum and Julian Porter for giving me this material. So, titled Ex Nazi in Bexhill. Staying at the Devonshire Hotel this week has been Herr Heinz Lynch, one time valet and personal bodyguard to Hitler, and recently released by the Russians after being held for 11 years for war crimes. When Lynch returned to Germany, he was able to give a first hand account of the Fuhrer's suicide and to end all doubts concerning his death. Last Saturday evening, Herr Lynch took part in the television programme In Town Tonight, and within minutes the BBC received telephone calls from viewers protesting at Herr Lynch's appearance. Another excerpt from a newspaper article, Herr Lynch's interview. On the afternoon of April the 30th, 1945, Adolf Hitler, maintaining an icy calm, maintaining icy calm, placed a pistol in his mouth, pulled the trigger and literally blew his head off. So said Heinz Lynch, Hitler's personal servant, on his return to Germany from 10 years of confinement in a Soviet prison camp. The handsome 42-year-old, one-time Nazi, laughed at reports which said Hitler had flown into rages and chewed on rugs during his last hours in a Berlin bunker 10 years ago. Lynch said the dictator was completely calm and sober and he had complete control of himself. He said Hitler was in poor physical condition but knew what he was doing. Lynch asserted that Hitler asked him before committing suicide to burn his body and that of Eva Braun, the mistress Hitler married. The very same day they both took their lives. The valet said he wanted he waited in the hallway of the air raid shelter whilst Hitler committed suicide. He declared, I heard one shot when I entered the Führer's bedroom. I saw him lying on the couch. It was full of blood. The Führer had shot himself through the mouth with a pistol. He said Eva Braun had taken poison. Lynch claimed he carried Hitler's blanket wrapped body from the bomb sa- bomb scarred bunker to a funeral pyre poured gasoline over the Nazi leader and Miss Braun and watched while watch while they were burned beyond recognition. Lynch said that before he threw the blanket over Hitler, he saw the Fuhrer's head was bloody and shattered. He declared that Hitler was wearing his usual black trousers, which others in the hallway outside recognised. He said, Both bodies were taken to the garden upstairs. Herr Lynch said gasoline was poured over both corpses. Someone threw a match on both sides, on both bodies, and flames shot up. Lynch said a special detachment of SS troops buried the ashes, but that he did not know the exact location.